Yeah, so we're live in the building. I've got my brother right. Joe back with me. What's going on, bro? So one sec, we're live, we're live in the building, man. What's happening? Yeah, Roots TV. Roots TV, Joe Black. What's going on, brother? You good? Come on, man. We're here, man. Sunday service. <laughs> Sunday service, you're looking nice and relaxed, nice and chilled out, bro. Yo. You know, yeah, man. Lockdown, man. We just got to try and make the best of a bad situation. Yeah, uh, trust me. I hear that, man. Like... Usually on a Sunday, we both be out, either coaching or playing or a bit of both. But yeah, that's what it is, man. The, the positive side, we're halfway through. This is like the second weekend. So only two yeah. more weekends to go before we get back to it. So that's one way of looking at it, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, man. Exactly, man. A little recharge. I think might, quite a few teams might have needed a little recharge. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. Ready to go again, man. There we go, man. But um, yeah, how's things going with you? Obviously, how's work and going, stuff and going? Because obviously, you're based in football, like whether it be professionally or you know part time or whatever. Like, how's things going with you? Uh, yeah, man. It's just basically, obviously, the COVID situation. It's not ideal because a lot of my work is based in uh, in grassroots football. So if there's no grassroots football, then it's kind of not not a lot going on. But um, yeah, man, we're just working behind the scenes. Got a new job. Um, just getting, just getting used to that. Getting used to congrats the new to system. That, congrats to that, bro. Come on, big it up. Man, you on. Come, on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, man. But um, we just, yeah, yeah, we just, we're just working, man. Yeah, I hear that still, man. But um, how is like the new? How are you adjusting to it now? Because obviously you're used to being on the pitch. But like, how are you adjusting to not being on the pitch and still having to carry on with work? Cause it must be tough, right? Um, um, yeah, but obviously, you know, there's a lot of lot of presentations, powerpoints, a lot of match analysis. Uh, it's kind of like mid season, so then uh, like doing a lot of player reviews and yeah, man, just um, just trying to keep myself busy, trying to get stuff done that I wouldn't have as much time for if I was out on the grass. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, just catch up time. Yeah. And the last time I've seen you out on the grass, unfortunately, it wasn't, um, it wasn't in good circumstances in terms of playing. You was in the cup final. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk to yeah, about man. that. It was a narrow um, one little loss, but again, obviously, it's enough in the cup final, wasn't it? Yeah, man, I think it was just cup football. I think uh, we, we had a, we had a, we had a like, good team and we've done a, a lot of good things. Fairly new team. Um, it was only our second season together and our first first year in the London Cup. So getting to the final itself was an achievement. Um, but um, yeah, man, I think it's just nerves on the day. And the other, got to give credit to the other team. They took their chance, defended well. And yeah, man, it just happens, man. It happens. Yeah. But, and since then, obviously, that team's kind of folded. But then it's kind of yeah. revamped and come back fresh and new under, obviously, Stars FC now. So... Talk to you about that. It must be exciting, right? Yeah, obviously, you know, um, money's my guy, and we was in the uh, five side league day again, um, and um, yeah, I thought it made sense. Uh, a lot of the players we had from last year, the team you watched, were young players. They've gone off to uni. A lot of them are getting jobs now, so they they haven't got as much time to play. So instead of folding, I thought we might as well join forces because. Um, you know, AC United. It's, it's originally a youth football club that 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 we run. So the name will always be there. And um, yeah, I think it was just an opportunity to 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 merge with stars and get some of them players playing together at a good 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 level, good league. You know, Barnet Sunday leagues a good league, and there's a there's a lot of good teams in there. So. Yeah, yeah and these old stars. Obviously, like talk to me about some of the stars. I'm seeing Rams playing there. Obviously yourself. Yeah, man. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like you know, you gotta go on the go on the stars league. You check it out. You see that it's a, uh, it's a it's a star started lineup. Um, but yeah, Literally. man. But we're, we're, yeah, but we're 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 in the deep ends. We're in the Premier League or the Barnet League. Games ain't easy. Um, so it's not all fun and games. Like we, we there's some serious teams in there and um. If we don't, if we don't, if we're not, if we're not, if we're not taking it serious, we could get embarrassed 
when we play a couple of the teams that are that are in the league. So um, yeah, man, as 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 good as it is, and as the, the vibes are good, and it's a uh, it's a uh, different people from different areas. It's still like we gotta knuckle down and get some get some good results on the on the scoreboards. I was gonna say, man, there's some big teams in there. You got Rising Ballers in there. You got Takers yeah. in there. Yeah, got yeah. I get Albion in there as well. I get Albion, Park Royals. I think yeah. every game in there, even down to like Continental, uh, mm. that like in that league, I think every game is a tough game. If you don't turn up, you will, you will, you will get embarrassed because teams mm. are like it's, it's it's serious. Like Trabs on uh, Park Royals. Like this, if there's some serious teams in there, man, serious. Yeah. So, do you think it's like one of the toughest leagues in London? Because if you get, you mentioned all those teams there, like they've all got a yeah. history, where they're new or old. You know, some are bringing yeah. like footballers, like rising ballers, take FC, like you guys, you know them very well as well. Like yeah. it's, yeah. it's got to be yeah. one of the toughest leagues in London, at least. Um. Yeah, I think I think definitely one of one of definitely one of because. If you look at the history books, like a team like Highgate Albion, they've been mm-hmm. very successful in like London Cup, County Cup competitions, and Rising Ballers. Like we don't even need to speak about them. Everyone knows what they're about. Takers, they're coming, through, they're coming through. They're new, they're a newer team, but they're like, a, in my opinion, they're one of the best uh, Sunday League slash YouTube, whatever, whatever you want to term it. I think they're one of the most exciting for me. Like they're serious. Like, they got a serious setup. Like you know, Apple serious gaffer, <laughs> Ricochet. Like, yeah, I think, yeah, 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 yeah. Like I think, I think, yeah. I think there's a lot of teams that can cause cause problems. Even down to Stars. Stars is brand new, so I think a lot of it is just still gelling and still molding, and like it could it could be as big as as big as we want it to be. Like so. Yeah, man, it's, I think it's definitely one of the toughest leagues. But I look at other leagues, like, and there's some leagues that might not even be publicised as much as others. But there's county cup competition. You know, you never know. You turn up on a day, you might get spanked. You don't know where this team come from. So I wouldn't want to disrespect any other league and say, yeah, this is the best league in um, in London. But it's, I think it's definitely one of. It's definitely got some serious teams in there. I mean, you guys got some serious ballers in there as well, man. You got like Aaron Clark and that as well, over a row, like yeah, 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 man. There, like. It's it's surprising because obviously it's a new team, don't really train, um, but when we click on the day, it's 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 some some good football. You think you'd think we've played together for years, so like it's credit, isn't it? Credit to the uh, quality of the players we got, and I think the longer that we, the longer that we play together. It's just gonna get better. We're just gonna get better. We're gonna gel more. We're gonna we're gonna click more. We're gonna find our playing style. And I think yes, yeah, it's just that it's only gonna get better. I think that's 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 the most uh, frightening thing. There you go, man. Then we gotta talk about your other team as well, man. I can't I can't leave um, your other team out, Madness FC, man. So you've gone more into. Come on, man. More of a coaching role, do you know what I mean? You've gone from a player role into a coach role. You're now in the replay me league as well, doing your thing as well. Like, talk yeah, to man. About- yeah, yeah. Madness, I think, for me, I think madness is more of a, more of a priority. Uh, how can I put it? Like, aside from the grassroots stuff, the youth, youth football I do, I think madness is more of a priority. And I think it's more of a unofficial captain off the pitch kind of older influence because it's a very young team isn't it? it's a very young young um squad and um yes yeah, i think it's just always good to have a bit of experience around and just to keep them on the straight and narrow a lot of you know it goes on the, on the streets a lot of them are from from tough areas so yeah man we're just trying to we're just trying to create a madness in the replay <laughs> league, especially, yeah, man. So, yeah, man, we're top of that league. Yeah, you you go. Know. You're doing your thing, man. You're doing your thing in that league. Obviously, you led by you and Abs as well. Like, oh, talk yeah, to come you on, man. Big up Abs, man. Yeah, talk to you about that kind of combination there, right? You and Abs on the sideline, man. That's, That's where it is. I think, I think Abs is more the Abs is more the, the, the brains of the operation, and um, 
like I said, man, I'm just there on a more of a big bro, big, big, big bro vibe. Um, Abs plays, played, played and plays at a, at a good level. Uh, he's a good coach, good football knowledge. And I think, yeah, man, I think you, you can see in it. We had a, we had a, we had a rocky preseason. Abs came in, steadied the ship. We started the replay me league, strong two wins out of two. Unfortunately, lost in the cup game, but yeah, man, we're going strong in the league. Yeah, again, again, and you got some absolute ballers in there. Talk to me about some of the ballers that people yeah, are saying man. best players in the league. Come on, man. Like that's what it is. I think like you go through our team, and I think in every position we got we got good young players that can um yeah. One second. Yeah, um, <laughs> sorry, someone's at my door, man. Um, That's cool, bro. Um, you still go about madness, yeah. madness, isn't it? Yeah, Just, yeah. You know got players in every position, like yeah, that can um, that can um, do a do a job. Um, goalkeeper Ben, sixteen, young, youngest, probably the youngest player in the whole league, like first year, just left school. Um, 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 just left school. Uh, I'm in right back. Yeah, he just yeah, left school. I mean, He's first year in college. I'm in speed demon right back. Uh, like every position, every position, we've got someone that can cause problems. Addy, obviously, Addy's like lethal. Tam, Mark, I can go through the whole team. You know how it goes. The whole team is is, and <laughs> and and what's what's the most the most. Exciting thing about it is they're all young players. Like I don't think I think Ben's the most experienced in the midfield, and he's like maybe early mid twenties. So wow. it's just a, it's just it's just a young team, and yeah, man, we're gelling, man, we're gelling, and we makes you feel old, man. Imagine that hearing the most experienced person is like mid twenties. That's crazy, bro. I'm telling crazy. you, unless obviously unless I unless I step on the pitch, unless I step on the pitch, then it's then it's then it's uh then it's you know what I'm saying. We're thinking back to the eighties, but but, <laughs> but yeah, man. I think I think that's that's a good thing. It's a it's a long term project, and um yeah, I think we're only going to get better. That's another team that stars. It's only going they're definitely we can keep that group of boys together. Yeah. Either they're going to do some dangerous stuff, or if we can't keep them together, then hopefully they push on and get into the pro game and get some get get some football at a higher level. Because I think a lot of uh, a lot of them are capable of it. And yeah, man, they're just there. Yeah, yeah man, that's since, it. You, since you've been in, involved in that league, though, have, is there anyone else stood out to you? Like any of the other teams? Obviously, you've got like AFTB in there. You've got GB Orange. You've got Dead Bull London, um, FC Infernos. I always always forget some some teams like quarterback <coughs> and yourselves. Like, is there any yeah. other teams that kind of stood out to you as well? Um, teams, I think teams. There's a, a, a Dead Bull London. I think they're a very uh, solid outfit. They might not mm. have that. Like, they might not have that outstanding individual, but they got they got solid team team ethic. They work hard as a team. Yeah. Um, they're very hard to they're very hard to beat. Um, and uh, players, who stood out for me, man? A couple Lenny. of the you know what it is names are names will names will escape me, but a couple of the prospects boys, I think they're Pro- another young team. Yeah, they're another, prospects. They're another young team. Two teams I forgot as well. But for me, like the ones that stick out for me is from Rance's team, um, Bilal. Um, Which one's Bilal? Bilal is kind of short. Um, stuff he slaps one worldy and absolute worldy. And is um, he left footed? The left footed one, nah, 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 nah. It's um, right footed. Oh, I nah, sticks out. Man. I wish I picked up the goal, but Bilal and Torreira, and then he got one hench brother up front. Um, I can't remember his name now, the stocky guy. But those, those three, like for GB around. But was they because they changed their team for the second game, and it was they there for the first game because I was up there live for their first game. Yeah, and I think I, you know, I think they've been there from the start. I'm sure they've been there from okay. the start because yeah. they play for other teams. I have to check them out. I have to check them out. Um, but what's good is I think that 
I don't think there's really a a, a, a clear favourite. In nah, my opinion, at first, at first, I think you guys might have been the clear favourites, and then Rance's teams just come on leaps and bounds. FC Inferno's obviously they did a, a mad switch around since like the first two games. Exactly. <clears throat> so everyone's kind of taking it more seriously now. Everyone's, everyone can be beaten as well. That's that's the beauty about it. It's not like exactly. Exactly. one main team and then everyone's just kind of whatever fodder. Like everyone can be beaten. And that's probably the beauty about it. AFTV, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't had a chance to see them in in person yet. They jumped in late, so and what's Tur- what's Turkish's team called? Relentless. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, them too. I came well, late when I when I came. It was that it was getting it was a bit fiery against the uh, was it Inferno they were playing. Against? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a fiery game, yeah. But um, it's um, I think yeah, they're two teams I want to see. I want to see live in person and see see um how well they are, how, how good they are. Okay, okay. Right, whilst you're here, I've got Artsy now. So. Everyone's making their one to elevens. I did a combined one to eleven of rising ballers and takers. Um, yeah. I guess you all jumping in the comment section. What about this person? What about that person? I was like, nah, it's literally between rising ballers and takers. So now I'm going to ask you, out of all the teams that you've seen, obviously there's so many teams on YouTube and all the rest of it, who would jump in your one to eleven as well? And that's like, I'm going to say past and present because there might be some players that are now in non league, but you might think, ah, I want to include him as well. So, let's start off with the goalkeeper. Now, again, people might think this is a, an obvious one, but the reason why I said past and present is because people can't sleep on Melvin from Rising Ballers, in it? Now, technically, he's out of grassroots football because, again, he got signed or whatever. But everyone would probably say Big G. But 100%. I want to... Uh, you see what it is? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... I'm gonna, um... Yeah, big for me, I think Big G would have to be my goalie because Big G would have to be my captain. I think aside from his goalkeeper qualities, I think his leadership qualities are second to none. I don't think there's, I don't think, I don't know of a more, what's the word to use? Like? You know, like the, the the pre-match team talks and that. I, I yeah, they inspire yeah, yeah. me. I don't even play for them, and they, and 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 I get inspired by the team talk. So <laughs> yeah, I think he would definitely have to be in between the sticks and his presence, just the presence alone. Obviously, there's 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 other keepers who have who who are better in other areas than Big G, i.e., uh, agility and and reflexes. But I'm willing to accept them shortcomings for what he brings to to a team and yeah man i think i think yeah there's no other choice big g keeper and skipper for me okay okay we've got big g and goal right so what we're going with a back four yeah four, two, back four okay so yeah. right back i think we mentioned a right back earlier um i don't know if he's going to be the one but who's going to get into getting that right back um i wouldn't you know what it is i wouldn't um I wouldn't pick any of my players for madness in the team just for just for the just for conversation's sake because I'll just pick if I if I'll just pick all of them. So, <laughs> so uh, you can't be right biased back. if you if you genuinely think they should get in there. You can't be biased. It's up to you. And it's your team. Do you know what? Then yeah, I'll pick him in right back. Hundred percent. Then yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll pick because I can't think of I can't think of another right back. I'll 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 pick over him. Okay. I'm just thinking. I can't think. I can't think of one. Okay, no right back. So we've got Amin at right back. What about a left oh, back? Ooh, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh. No, He's yeah, I'll, I'll keep it Amin. Nah. Do you know what? No, honorable wrong. mention for SK. Honorable mention for SK. SK. Yeah, honorable mention for me. Uh, he, he, yeah, SK as well. I know he plays centre half as well sometimes for the Duns, but he would be my substitute right back. SK, hundred percent. Okay, okay. So we're going with Amin. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right back. Left back now. Who are we putting at left back? This might be a bit left field, um, but my left back would be Monts from Takers. I knew it, bro. This is what I was going to say. <laughs> Listen, I've got yeah, a doubt. Nah, he's cold. Like, shout out Monts. Like, the hair yeah, thing, nah. bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's that. Nah, that you see thing, him. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> nah, he's no games. He's no games. No jokes. No nothing. He's just, he's just 
strictly one sec can you hear me yeah i can still hear you though yeah he's just strictly uh, uh he's just no games man yeah he'll be my left back if you don't if you, yeah, if you want to know why, just go and watch, go and watch take his games if you if you if you want to know why he'll be my left back yeah he gets a left back for me as well some of the goals he scored this season oh my god like seriously that don't guy's a problem working. and he works for the whole game like whole game is up and down uh, he's yeah no nah, he's serious he'll be he'll definitely be my left back okay right center half positions who we go with um center you can half. throw in yourself as well if you want to say, say that again i said you can throw in yourself as well if you want to uh no i wouldn't you know i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't <clears> even throw myself in uh i'll say i like albie okay and you know who else I like? I like Thing from Rising Ballers. I like Sinks, you know. I knew it, Sinks, knew it, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'll play. I'll play them too. Old school RB, old school RB, RB yeah, RB. yeah, old school RB link up. I'll play Sinks and Albi. My two yeah. center, hundred percent. Yeah, that's man. like yeah, Rio, Rio and Terry of uh, grassroots, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. <laughs> yeah. Albi's good on the good, good on the ball as well. Like he's good, good, good. Um playing out of the back yeah 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 now do you remember seeing that mazy run in the cup final that he nearly scored oh, come on oh, oh it was mad for him. Was against Gower? Was Gower? yeah yeah yeah, 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 I still yeah, yeah, yeah i'm like yeah, yeah. if only he scored that boy yeah, yeah, that would have gone yeah. viral man but he's it like he's another person like I, like I think he's he's he definitely deserves to be playing at a higher level i think he's at barking at the moment if i'm not mistaken but yeah, man, I wish him all the best, Albie, man. I think he, he, he can definitely be playing, playing um, league football, definitely, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, obviously, he's at Lambeth All-Stars now as well, isn't he? So, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so, again, in midfield, who we have in right mid? If we're playing traditional right, mid, right wing, left wing. <clears throat> oh, this is hard, you know. <laughs> This is hard because I, I, I'm trying to think. You know, do you know who my right winger would be? Who? Uh, uh, Fio Ola, Bates, he's 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100, 100%. He just did it for a vibes thing as well. Because again, uh, like, imagine him, on the, imagine him on the sideline, just Morocco. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But even ability wise, he's, 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 he's cold. I've played with him in person. He's like, uh, he's, yeah, he's, he's like, uh, off the black, uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy, man. He's he's yeah. a he's a top player. He's someone else. I don't know how he's not playing at a higher level because he's definitely cold. No, I like that still. Um, what about left wing? What have we got? Mm, left wing's tough again. Oh, who's got that wonder of a left foot, or who's cutting in off the left? Anyone that stings, springs to mind? Anyone uh, from the Suns? Anyone from Lamb Full Stars? Anyone from Rising Ballers? Takers? Beatties? Uh, stars? Hi, like anyone? Left wing, if, obviously from from Stars League. I'd have to go with Old Roman. Omar Roman. Omar Roman. Oh, there we oh, go. Let's go. Omar. Come on, man. That's crazy. Yeah, Omar oh, Roman being my left winger. Yeah, cold blooded. Yeah, cold blooded. Cold blooded. Omar Rowe. Okay, okay, okay. I'm liking this so far. Um, who's who's in the center then? Who's the two in the center? Do you know who I'd have? <clears throat> so, what I, I'm gonna have two in the center and what two strikers or a 10 and a striker? It's up to you, bro. Remember, it's Joe Black FC, man. We just right, my two, my two center midfielders would be, I think, I'm gonna go with. Max, remember four stars? Okay. Uh, and it's a tight one. It's a tight one. What are you thinking? I'm thinking it's a tight one between between Monts from the SC Duns okay. and Rondo from Takers. I don't know which one. Oh, it's tight. Mm. See, I've seen more of Rondo than, than Mons, so I can't really make that comparison. Rondo gets no, in my team. Crazy, Mons is crazy. 
what Rondo's crazy as well. Rondo, right, gonna go you know what? I'm gonna go with Rondo. Person. I'm gonna go with Rondo because I, Rondo would be my vice skipper. I would go with Rondo. I'll go with Rondo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rondo number nine, definitely. Okay. So Mike from Lambert Four Stars and Rondo number nine would be my two centre midfielders. Okay. So just to recap, we've got Big Jean Gong. Yeah. From Obviously Dons. Amin from Madness. We've got old school pairing Albi and Sinks at the yeah. back with Montel from um, Takers at left back. Yeah. Right wing, we've got Fiola from, Fiola, sorry, from Beatties. Yeah. Left wing, we've got, is it Omar Row? That's it. Oh, from, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. from Stars. Yeah. And then we've got Mike's. And would you say Rondo as well from Takers? Rondo, yeah, Mike's from Rondo, yeah. So, okay. So, two up top. Who are we going with? No, I'm not. I'm going to play the oh, yeah, sorry. So, you got number 10 and then you got one one up top. So, yeah. I kind of think I know who's going to be up top. So, let's go with the number 10 first, innit? My number 10 is going to be Jack Aldinho. I know he's been injured <laughs> for the year. But he's one of my... He's one of, if not my favourite uh, uh, YouTube footballer. I think he sings effortless. And, um, so Jack Aldinho from Dons, yeah? Yeah, Jack Samu is 100%. He's my number 10. Okay, Jack Aldinho. And then up top, who are we going with, man? I think I know who it's going to be, but you got you got the obvious choice of Zach Anta. You've got Winger from obviously All Stars as well. Yeah. You've got Anta from All Stars. You've got Terry from Takers. You've got who else? You've from got? Takers. There's many stuff front for them. Yeah, many stars as well. <clears throat> Menace is Menace is cold as well. Menace is cold. Apologies if anyone from Takers is watching. I didn't put Menace in uh, yesterday's team, but yeah, then how much talent cold. to go around, bro. Even Hazard, Hazard, Hazard as well. Hazard's cold, bro. Adam is cold. You know who my striker will be on a big man team? Here yeah, we go. Uh... The suspense, man. Come on, bro. Who are we going with up top? I'm going with Addy. Fuck it. Addy Madness, man. Addy. Addy? Addy Madness. Yeah, man. Addy. Do you know what it is? Obviously, the what? obvious choice would be Zach. No, but obviously, I, I just think, you know what? Let's spice it up a bit, man. Just fling on, fling on young ads, man. DV, man. Easy. Wow. So, no Zach Hansa. No uh, Winja. No Ada. No, because they're like, they're obvious choices, isn't it? I'm going to, I told you, I'm going to pick my team a bit. I'm going to try and have it a bit balanced, spread it across a bit. So, okay, okay. okay. And it'll be interesting to see that mixture of players, see how Addy gets on with them ballers, see how you can see how you can handle it. Okay, all right. So, just to recap again, big Jean goal. Yep, skip on. I'm in. I'm in right back. Month left back. Month rising yeah. ballers pairing or old school pairing with Sinks and, and, and Albus Lambert, four stars. Yeah, yeah. Fia Ola, right wing. Yeah. Omar Row left wing. Yeah. Mike's in the middle with Rondo. Yeah. Jack Aldino in the 10. Yeah. And then Addy. Yeah. Don't say it like no. that. Don't no, say it like that. Like he's the top scorer in the replay. I'm not saying right. bro. Look. Shout out to Eddie. Shout out to Matt Madness. Shout out to you as well. Yeah, Bob's we got all the strikers as well. We got Wind just as well. And, 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 so, and, uh, uh, What's my name? Gondo as well. He's 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 doing bits for Lambert Four Stars. Uh, yeah. Ruben. There's bare strikers, obviously, but obviously you gotta you gotta support your own, you know what I'm saying? Big up Addy, man. All day, man. Okay, okay. Yo, I'm I'm putting that out for for sure, man. I'm putting that one to eleven. Joe Black's one to eleven. I'm putting yeah. that out for sure, oh, bro. Okay. Kobe. <laughs> you said don't quote you. No, I said quote me, man. Quote, quote me. you. Okay. Okay. That'll definitely have them. And if I could get them all on the same pitch, I'll would, I'll would challenge anyone. I'll would challenge any anyone, man. I'll be the gaffer. I'll challenge any team. Yeah. Any team up to Conference South. I'll challenge them. Yeah. Yeah, man. Okay. Okay. Joe Black FC. Yeah, we heard it first. <laughs> oh no! Thank you, this brother. It's been interesting, bro. Seriously, yeah. especially that last choice as well, man. That's definitely going to get some people talking for sure. Come on, come on. Yeah, man. Thank you guys for listening and peace, bro. Take care of yourself, man. Yeah, man. Big up every time, man. Big up.